only three ingredients that have been medically proven to stop acne redness in as little as 60 days. Now that is a bold claim, but there is some science to back it up. When it comes to trying to choose products to treat acne, you know that there are the main four that have been medically tested and proven. We've gone over this in many other videos and I've left a little card right here if you want to learn more about that. But the red marks that acne leaves over once the acne is actually gone is a completely different beast. And we're not talking about like Mr. Beast, you know, giving people vision and hearing. Not that kind of beast. Um, the bad kind is really hard to deal with and is a pain in your and when it comes to these marks, they can look red and inflamed, but on darker skin tones, they can even look purple or brown. But usually this is all due to the same main underlying reasons. The acne has left behind inflammation and we gotta do something to help with that. We don't want that inflammation to stick around. And specifically when skin heals wounds, something called angiogenesis happens. Angiogenesis is basically the new formation of tiny little blood vessels. And it's great because blood vessels bring nutrients and oxygen and other cells to that area to repair the skin or wound on the body, right? Yeah. But also that angiogenesis is bringing red blood to the surface of the skin. And if that sticks around, that hemoglobin, which is basically blood, and with all of that iron inside of it, those red blood cells basically, if that color sticks around, it can be rough to deal with. The good news is that there are some medically proven ingredients that have actually been shown to help with medical studies. And yes, they can work in as little as 60 days. They can stop the redness and then they can start working on reversing it. The issue is you need to be consistent and some of these are prescription only, which is why we're working with agency and their doctors and dermatologists on a portion of this video to make sure that you understand, number one, why this is happening. Number two, what ingredients you can actually do to prevent and stop it. And number three, how to actually use these ingredients day or night and when to put them into your routine. Let's start with azelaic acid. Now this is a special one because azelaic acid is what's called a dicarboxylic acid. It comes from rye bread and it's actually made by our bodies naturally. Now there's a couple special things about azelaic acid. Acid. Number one, it's pregnancy safe. So if you are pregnant, of course, always speak to a doctor, or dermatologist, do your OBGYN, but it is generally regarded as safe for pregnancy. And it also helps to get rid of active acne as well as redness or purpleness or brown spots in the skin. What's super special about azelaic acid is that it only works on the cells inside of your skin that are producing more of themselves rapidly. Basically they're hyper proliferating or they are extra excited to create more of themselves. So azelaic acid, doesn't cause lightning or bleaching or color changes in the entire skin. It only works on the skin cells that are overactive, which means this is amazing to apply both when you have the active acne and those pimples first start to pop up. But then also once the active acne has started to go away, you want to keep using it to work on those dark spots. Now, this right here is a prescription azelaic acid that I am in love with. I actually just got my new box of Agency Skincare and this is custom blended to me. Obviously, if you get Agency, it will be custom blended to you. So what you have may be different, but agency matches you up with doctors and derms who look at your skin and then provide formulas. And you can ask them for ingredients that you want or want to try. They might not always give it to you, but if the ingredient is supposed to help your skin and if they look at your skin and assess it and say, uh, yep, that's acne or rosacea or pigmentation that you got on your face and this ingredient will help, then they usually are pretty good at working with you to make sure that your formula is just right. But what if you don't want to go the prescription route? You don't have to, you can get azelaic acid over the counter. This is a little bit more expensive. This one's like $35 to $40 from Paula's Choice. But this one right here is the 10% azelaic acid booster with salicylic acid. So this would not be recommended if you're pregnant or breastfeeding just because it does have that salicylic acid, which might not be good for baby. But for just about anyone else, including people who have active breakouts and acne, this is a great one. But another option is Phenacea Gel. Phenacea Gel is literally prescription azelaic acid. It usually comes at higher percents, but you could also ask your doctor or derm about that too. So what do you need to know if you're going to use azelaic acid in your routine. Number one, it can be used morning or evening, day or night. Night is probably better because you'll have it boom on your face and you can lock it in with a moisturizer, but you can use it morning or evenings. Azelaic acid is also a pretty friendly ingredient if you wanted to layer it with other things or mix it with other things. For example, in this Paula's Choice product, it's mixed with salicylic acid. Or in this dark spot formula, my azelaic acid is mixed in with resveratrol and with hydroquinone. It really plays well with other things and there aren't any major concerns when it comes to putting it into your routine. I would recommend it in leave 
leave on products and not to rinse off products. For example, an azelaic acid cleanser might be okay, but might not be the best use of your money. I would get it in a serum or a moisturizer type of formula that you could leave on the skin. And that gives it the chance to penetrate and work. And yes, it can work in as little as 60 days. Remember that our skin cells naturally rebuild themselves and turn over. If you're a teenager, that could happen as quick as 14 to 21 days. And as we get older, that timeline normally increases. That could be 30 days, that could be 40 days, or even 50. But no matter what, new skin cells are always being created in that little layer called the stratum basale. It's basically right between the dermis and part of the epidermis. And those little skin cells literally get pushed up through the outer layers of the skin until they get to the very top called the stratum corneum. And then they flake off and turn into dust. Is, is your room dusty? Are you sitting, do you see dust? Dead skin cells, baby. Yeah, hi keratinocytes. Hi, nasty. Anyways, um, if you didn't know, now you know. <laughs> and the reason that that's actually a great thing is because our bodies are constantly renewing themselves and azelaic acid can work on making sure that it helps to get rid of both acne and redness slash pigment in as soon as that 60 days, especially if you do use it regularly. As a bonus, azelaic acid has also been medically proven to help with rosacea. It's one of the first line treatments for rosacea. So if your skin is naturally really red, you get flushed a lot, azelaic acid is a great way to go. And what if you're looking at me and you're like, Cassandra, I understand that some people's skin takes 40, 50 days to turn over, that's my skin. I want the skin that turns over in 30 days. I want the skin that turns over in 28 or 25. Well, baby, I got something for you because hope is not lost. Remember that one ingredient that's used in dermatology and it's considered a gold standard? It's actually made inside of our eyes and our bodies can pick it up and use it immediately. You know what we're talking about? We're talking about retinoids and you know that they are some of the best ingredients for active acne, for active scars, and for the redness, the inflammation, the brown and purple pigment that acne leaves behind. Retinoids are fantastic and there are many different forms, but did you know that retinoids actually speed up that skin cell turnover process? Just as we were talking about those new cells being created where? In the stratum basale, that's right, and getting pushed up to where? The stratum corneum, yes, and then sloughing off into what? nasty dust bunnies. Oh yeah. Retinoids actually help to speed up that process. And it does take a little time. This takes 30 or 60 days to work depending on the potency. But if you get the potent prescription stuff, specifically like the future formula, yeah, in the future, your skin is going to be plumper in those deeper layers and it's going to speed up that skin cell turnover as I throw products on my floor. <laughs> now this future formula from Curology is again, custom blended to me. Mine has tretinoin, which is retinoic acid, otherwise known as all trans retinoic acid. It's the potent stuff. It's the prescription stuff. But if you don't want prescription options, you can get retinol over the counter. Retinol or retinal or retinoic acid esters or things like that are ingredients you can find over the counter without a prescription. They just take longer for your skin to convert into the potent types. And then those potent types and the over the counter types basically turn into the same end ingredient, all trans retinoic acid, and cause your skin cells to turn over more. Now, if you can imagine your skin re creating new skin cells deep down, even down in the dermis, the papillary and the reticular layers. If those layers are super plump and juicy and full of collagen and elastin and your skin cells down there called the fibroblasts are pumping out a whole bunch of new skin cells like it's, like it's a rave. You can bet that that can help remodel the skin deep down to help with things like acne scars, like pigment, and yes, active breakouts. And there's a reason that retinoids are considered the gold standard in dermatology. It's because they are great at what they do. And remember, they're made naturally by our bodies. Vitamin A is made naturally in our eyes. And whether it's retinol, retinol, retinoic acid, these are all forms of vitamin A. Amazing to have in your routine and amazing that our body creates them on our own. <laughs> when it comes to using retinoids in your routine, should you use them morning or evening? Well, well, retinoids are notoriously photosensitive. Photo meaning light and sensitive meaning like me who cries over everything, including seeing a beautiful sunset or seeing a squirrel eat a little acorn outside of the window. Or those pigeons that were trying to have babies and have a nest and then the <coughs> blue jay came and like pecked at them and like killed their nest. I cried for like five days, okay? Essentially, just like me and my emotions, retinoids are light sensitive. So you shouldn't necessarily use them during the day. There are some forms of retinoids that are photo stable, like adapalene gel that you can use during the day, but to get the most out of your money, retinoids are best used at night. The other thing about retinoids that you do wanna be aware of is that they're kind of hard to mix with other things. You wanna avoid using retinoids at the same time that you're using a benzoyl peroxide, just because it can be super irritating. And with retinoids, you may go through a period called retinization. It's basically when your skin cells 
are turning over and that time period is going from 45 or 35 days down to 28 or 25, you can bet that your skin is going to be a little bit red and irritated. In order to avoid that, you want to titrate. So literally ask your prescribing physician or the person that you're matched up with on agency and say, how many times should I apply this per week? You start low, you go slow. You use just a little bit. And instead of putting it directly on the skin, you can actually put a moisturizer on first and then put your prescription strength retinoid on top of that. And that kind of slows down its absorption into the skin and prevents it from being as irritating. Additionally, retinoids love water. So if you apply a retinoid to damp skin, Oh, it's gonna penetrate, but that also means it can burn. If you're an advanced skin intellectual, then go for it. But for most people, you're not gonna wanna do that. So for most people, make sure that you're applying to dry skin or put a moisturizer on, or even like a layer of Salimo jelly, which is like a vegan version of Vaseline. Put that on first and then put your retinoid on top. Retinoids do take a little bit more time to work than something like azelaic acid. They normally take 35, 40, or even 60 days. But once they start working, they make your skin look brand new. In the words of Dr. Alexis, Stephens, where you start is where you'll stay. Retinoids and sunscreen, bay bay. <laughs> And when it comes to acne redness, remember that a lot of that is caused by inflammation. And something that a lot of people don't consider when it comes to inflammation is how much antioxidants can help. Antioxidants are fantastic and they support your skin naturally from environmental damage, from the damage from the sun's UVA and UVB rays, and also the damage that we get from stress intrinsically in our bodies. Now, antioxidants, AKA vitamins, come in many forms, but some of the best are things such as vitamin C, niacinamide, which is also known as vitamin B3, resveratrol, and even things like green tea and caffeine. All of these are fantastic and can work in ways that support your skin barrier, help bring down inflammation, and can kind of slowly start to work away at some of that redness from angiogenesis or that purple and brownness from pigmentation. Now, when it comes to the right one for you, we actually have videos on that. Certain things may be better for certain people, but you're probably super familiar with vitamin C and it's because it is such a potent antioxidant and brightener. Vitamin C is fantastic and it's great to use it during the morning. You can apply this before you use your sunscreen to help boost your sunscreen up. And yes, it does brighten the skin all over because it is a tyrosinase inhibitor, basically stopping your skin from being able to create pigment. Vitamin C is a great brightener and you can get it over the counter in different capsules. I'd recommend it in a leave-on product like a serum or a moisturizer or even a sunscreen that has vitamin C. And when people use a light, stable, potent form of vitamin C, they can normally see results in as little as two weeks, like 14 to 21 days. And then over time, the results just get better. Now, if you don't want to use vitamin C, you can also use niacinamide. Niacinamide is also known as vitamin B3 and niacinamide is fantastic. Unlike vitamin C, it doesn't stop your skin from creating pigment. It just says, hey pigment, don't move around. Don't leave the cell. So the pigment still gets created. It just can't spread. And that really helps when it comes to those pinpoint areas that we tend to get a little bit of discoloration. Niacinamide is also great for day use, but you can use it during the night as well. The big thing with niacinamide is that you do want to be aware that it is a powder and it's usually suspended in different liquids or cream so it can be a little bit chalky. Both of these items are chalk free. This specifically is my future formula from Agency. This has niacinamide at 4% and mine doesn't fall up or gum up. But I normally find that if I use niacinamide that's over like 15, especially 20%, it does get chalky. Another option if you don't want to go prescription is this K-Beauty one from T. I T M. I don't actually know how to pronounce this. Does anybody know? I think it's Tia, Tia, Tia. TM? Somebody pronounce this correctly with me. <laughs> but what's great about this spray is that it does have 3% niacinamide as well as tranexamic acid, which also helps with dark spots and beta glucans, which can hydrate and moisturize the skin. This is a great K-Beauty option. And because it's a spray, it's really easy to apply. And this is so refreshing for summer. So if you really hate the feeling of like heavy, thick stuff on your skin, you will love this. But if you're someone who wants your niacinamide in a really potent leave-on type of moisturizer, the Future Formula is probably the way to go. And we also mentioned things like caffeine and green tea and specifically resveratrol. Resveratrol is fantastic because it's an amazing antioxidant and it's actually found in grapes and in blueberries. And it's a fantastic antioxidant, but it's also a polyphenol. Essentially, when plants are being bombarded by things like fungus or bacteria, plants start to fight back and they create these polyphenols to basically strengthen themselves and fend off these bad little pests that are trying to eat them. Resveratrol is created by these plants to protect them. And as an antioxidant, it is so good for skin. Yes, it is a 
great antioxidant to protect you from the sun, to protect you from environmental damage, to even help with minor fine lines and wrinkles. But depending on the formula you get it in, it can also be an amazing antioxidant for redness and discoloration in the skin. Now, antioxidants have a lot of variability, so you don't know how potent it is, what percent it is, or how quickly it's going to work. But in general, if you use your antioxidants in a skincare routine for the entire 60 days, twice a day, you can bet that you can start to see some of the beneficial results. And antioxidants actually start working the second you put them on because they're protecting your skin from that environmental damage. My dark spot formula specifically has 1% resveratrol, which is fantastic. Again, this comes in a blend specifically made to me with the ingredients that my skin loves to help ward off any pigmentary or redness issues from pimples or even when I scratch my face or when I fall down and eat because, you know, I, I, I do that a little too often. <laughs> And yes, I have been putting my future formula right there. But as noted, if the $5 agency option just isn't right for you and you don't want to get a prescription, you can get the Ordinary's Resveratrol and Ferulic Acid. This little serum is, I think it's about $10. It might've gone up to like 12. And this is a wonderful antioxidant serum for people who want to add it in for dark spot care, for redness, for wrinkle care, or just an antioxidant boost over sunscreen. Regardless of which of these you use, you need to remember to wear sunscreen. If you don't wear sunscreen, it can actually make acne scars, rosacea flares, redness, and pigment worse. So please remember to reapply your SPF. Please remember to stay hydrated both orally and topically. And again, a huge thanks to Agency for working with us on a portion of this video, making sure that actual knowledge when it comes to skincare and ingredients and how they work is provided to you so that you can make the best choices for your skin. And thank you to Agency for literally my latest Agency shipment. I will leave all of those details down below. And I really encourage you to take a look there because if you feel like you've tried everything, looking at our skin and judging it every day in the mirror can feel overwhelming. And actually speaking to a doctor or derm, getting it diagnosed, is it actually acne or is it rosacea? Is it actually acne pigmentation marks or is it melasma? That'll help you understand your skin and what's happening to it so you can get the right ingredients for it. I love you beautiful butterflies and I can't wait to see you in this next video. <sighs> love you guys. Bye.